Today, I bring you a new VTuber application called Vinyan, which I believe will become a total game changer for 3D VTubers. Hi, it's your friendly neighborhood VTuber Suvi here again with a new software release. Did you ever want to create Twitch redeems on your VTuber setup that are a bit more detailed than what you would be otherwise able to do with the currently existing Twitch integrations. Maybe you have even considered making a completely custom setup using Unity or Unreal. Or maybe you have just wanted to add, let's say, a 3D background around your avatar. Vinyan just might provide you an accessible alternative that doesn't require coding at all. Vinyan is what I would like to call a VTubing front-end application. It doesn't have tracking, so you will still need a tracking application such as VC Face, Tracking World, or Virtual Motion Capture, and plenty others, anything that supports VMC protocol. So, you may be wondering, Suvi, what on earth is Vinyan and why should I care? Well, you totally should care, because Vinyan is a very simple application that allows you to create, for example, your Twitch redeems and a lot more using a very intuitive node graph interface. So basically, you're just connecting boxes to other boxes with a line. And while this was a very simple example, you will be able to build on that by adding even more boxes and connecting even more lines. Let's say you have a redeem to throw items at your avatar. Now, this is a very simple example, but you could take that further by adding your avatar, like let's say every 10 items that hit your avatar, make your avatar fly to the space. Then you add a couple more boxes to Vinyan and ta-da! you have a completely different kind of redeem system that already looks a lot more complicated than what you have had before. And this is still very simple stuff. You can take it even further if you want to. Only your imagination is the limit. Vinyan is of course a lot more than just Twitch integration. You will be able to, well, something a lot of people have been asking is how to create I highlight jiggle for 3D avatars. You can do that with Vinyan on your very default Vroid avatar. Vinyan is not just about the node graph system either. There is a very powerful prop system that also integrates with the nodes. You can create custom drawable items, custom droppables, custom edibles, even props that you can add on your avatar. They can be either 3D or 2D, even animated GIF files are supported. You can also create custom worlds. By using Vinyan SDK, all these aforementioned props and items will be able to interact based on the parameter values that you set in your node graph. So you could, for example, have a button that when you press it with your finger, it will play an audio, or it could do something in your world, or, well, again, your imagination is the limit. Of course, since Vinyan is such a big project, there's obviously gonna be need for some tutorials. I will personally be launching a tutorial series here on this specific channel for it, but in the meantime, if you require assistance, I highly recommend you join the Discord server down in the description. There we have a Vinyan channel where you can find all the beta testers who have been helping me develop this application. They have already gotten a lot of experience and will be able to help you with the most common questions. You will also be able to share all the Vinyan assets as well as tutorials on that channel. So now you're probably already like, okay, so we give me the link. I want to download it. I want it now. Okay, Nyan. So, where do you get it? There is a link in the description to the itch.io page where you can download it. The application is completely free, 
but of course you can donate when you download it, but that is not necessary. So how do you use Vinyan? Once you have downloaded it and extracted it somewhere, you can simply start the application with vinyan.exe. There is also vinyan underscore gbu priority dot command. Now this is something you can use if you are not running Windows 11, but Windows 10. That will basically give Vinyan more GPU priority. This uh, feature is a huge thank you to Emiliana from VC Face, which uh, basically this feature allows your application not to get all cartoon looking when you are playing some game that requires a lot more resources than it should. So if you are having trouble with your avatar lagging, try that feature, but only if you are not in Windows 11, because NVIDIA's drivers have caused some issues in Windows 11 when using that feature. Once you launch Vinyan, what you want to do first is go to the general settings, and there you will see the VMC settings. You will have to configure the same port that you have in your tracking application, whether that's VC phase, tracking world, or some other, make sure you use the same port. After that, load in your avatar and you should see your avatar move. If for some reason your avatar is not moving even though the setup is correct, then it is very likely that your Windows Defender firewall is blocking the connection between your tracker application and Vinyan. This is a very common issue and it's weird that a firewall would block connections between applications on the same machine, but it does happen sometimes. So in this case, you need to access your Windows Defender firewall and add Vinyan there and give it UDP access so that incoming UDP messages can be delivered to Vinyan in private profile. At the same time, you may also want to allow TCP messages from private profile if you plan on using WebSockets. Vinyan can be captured into OBS using either Spout2 or the normal game capture. For the best performance I would recommend using Spout2, but to use that you will need to get the Spout2 plugin for OBS. Once you're done with all these settings, you may want to configure your colliders in the collider settings and then head over to the redeem settings and start building your redeems. Don't forget to also log in to Twitch using the Twitch login button. If you did follow the wizard that started first when you started the application, you should have a node graph with some very basic redeems that you can edit and test out. Vinyan also shipped with a lot of example node graphs. You can find these in the examples folder under Vinyan. So simply when you go to your node chart, you can create a new node chart, then click on the load button and load any of the example charts from the examples folder to take a look into some of the simple and more advanced and also at the nightmare level node charts. If you want a nightmare level node chart, take a look at the disco light system that is using audio frequency checking to see what kind of lights can be turned on the scene. Something that might also be of interest to all you creators out there is that you can indeed create new items and even export the node graphs. This means that artists and so on can create these things and sell those assets to other VTubers if they want to. To create custom assets, you will need to get the Vinyan SDK. You can also get this from the same site where you download Vinyan. There will be more tutorials on how to actually create custom items later on this channel, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the application. When you start it up and you have your model loaded, you can simply click on the settings, then redeem settings, and this will open up the node editor. Now, I highly recommend you track this into much wider, which gives you a lot more space to work at. Now in the workspace, you can move around with the middle mouse button and you can scroll or zoom with the mouse scroll. 
You can create new graph charts with the add new graph. This will create a new tab. You can give it a name from the bottom of the tab, like so. And then you can simply start adding nodes here. The nodes are split into three parts. We have the callback nodes, we have action nodes, and we have conditional nodes. The callback nodes are what signals the chain to start, and action nodes are usually the ending point. Conditional nodes are what you place between the callback nodes. So for example, if we wanted to create a simple channel point redeem, we could just click on the channel points. This adds a channel points node. Here you would type your channel point name. So in our case, let's just start with a draw item. So we would have a node called draw item. Now you will of course need to create a channel point redeem with this exact name in your Twitch dashboard. Okay, and now we could just connect it to an action. So for a very simple action, let's just add a draw item like so. This adds a new node where we can select what items may appear in this drawing. So basically it will show you whatever items you have in your Vinyans drawable items folder. So if we want apples and ducks and uh, some nuts to appear in the drawing, we click them, then we draw a line from the yellow socket to the action node like so. And then we can also type how many items are drawn. Here we could just draw, let's say, five items. And now if you were to redeem this, when your Twitch is connected, it would actually do it. Now, of course, some of these callbacks cannot be triggered so easily, like the bits and uh, subscriptions and so on. So to test those out, you can just right click on a callback node and select send signal. This will basically trigger the node. So we can test this redeem out by clicking here. And as you can see, it is working. Now Vinion does come with a lot of built-in actions that you can add all the usual item nodes, a lot of other stuff, and then some more advanced things like uh, time scales, winds, timers, scales, camera controls, and of course, you can adjust post-processing effects as well, and then indeed adjust parameters to build something more complicated. By combining, for example, timers, you could create a timer loop that keeps executing in the background on specific intervals. This could be used to create some kind of idle animation or randomly check on some parameters or whatever you want to do. If you want to share a node graph, you can simply click on the export button and save the selected graph somewhere. At some point when you're using the application, you may also run into some problem where you need to figure out what is happening with either your blend shapes or your parameters. For that, you can click the monitor open and here you will see a list of first of all your blend shape values. And after that, you can see all the parameters that are currently saved in the system, as well as their values. Some of you might be worried that Vinyan may be slightly too difficult for you. However, you do not have to start with the most complicated node charts. You can start with a simple chart where you only have like two nodes connected to each other. And once you feel more confident with the application, you can start building more and more on top of those already existing charts. You can of course always ask other people for advice and see what other creators have created and shared for Vinyan. I hope you have super comfy times with the application and do indeed stay tuned for more tutorials on this channel for the application later on. If you would like to stay up to date with the tutorials, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell button so you actually get a notification when I post something new. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.